Death, taxes, and secret layers. We've got a new secret layer that was announced as part of the Mythic Invitational this week, Secret Layer Showcase Zendikar Revisited. We're gonna talk about the new secret layer and is it worth it? And the video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fan fight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel are Magic. I am Joel. We're going to talk about the new secret layer based around Zendikar, revisiting the old plane as we have a new set coming out for it. But first, if you would go down there and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video by the end of it, it really helps us out. Make sure to stick around to the end. I'm going to make my calls on which stained glass planeswalker I I think we're gonna find in this secret layer. Let's jump over into the secret layer. So as you can see here, we have finally seen what the official release is for the Zendikar secret layer. This was leaked a little bit on Sunday. They had some technical difficulties with the Myth Mythic Invitational and they were originally going to announce this on Sunday as part of the Invitational weekend. However, they pushed it to today. It got leaked, this image right here in fact, but now we've got official confirmation. Let's look through some of this stuff. So this secret layer is in two versions, non-foil and foil. This is becoming a trend and I think that this is a very good trend. This is what they should be doing with these secret layers. Give the players a choice. Give the purchasers a choice to either get the non-foil version if they know they're going to want to play with it at a high competitive level and they don't want to take the chance on ordering some Pringles, or they can order the foil version to bling out their EDH decks and get some silica gel or something that's going to help them with whatever bending may ensue. We've got here announced on the secret layer, Admonition Angel, Royal Elemental, Zulaport Cutthroat, Warren Instigator, and Avenger of Zendikar. So right off the rip, I like seeing that we've got playable EDH cards in this secret layer. They're all picked from timeline across Zendikar, different sets where we visited Zendikar, and they showcase the main mechanic with Landfall, and they also picked three like kind of staples. Zulaport Cutthroat has become this staple EDH card as a finisher in a lot of decks. Warren Instigator is a playable goblin, and Avenger of Zendikar, as you know, is a playable EDH card in many, many decks. A lot of go over, over the top potential with those. I like, and you'll know that from seeing these uh, other secret layer videos that we've done, I like the art on these. These arts are enough of a departure that I think the secret layer is merited. I think that they've done an excellent job with the art direction of this little collection. They're not completely in line with each other. They're not like all one style, say like the slime secret layer was. However, they're close enough. They're sort of, you know, they're an ethereal take. They're an impressionistic take. You can still see that this royal elemental is attacking, you know, the guy riding this horse, this knight here, this dragon or wyvern is having a hard time dealing with the royal elemental. But as you can see with Zulaport Cutthroat, this is more of a cartoony take on it. This is a, a little more of a cartoonish take than I would expect on an MTG card if it were printed in a base set. But for this secret layer release, I really like this art. This is actually the Zulaport Cutthroat that I would want to obtain. Now, it's worth noting that this is the first time, this is a very cheap card. You know, this is just an uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it maxes out at 50 cents to a dollar. However, this is the first time that we're going to have an alternate blinged version of Zulaport Cutthroat. And so this is going to become the desirable copy in a lot of players' minds. Uh, mine, for instance, this is the copy that I want. I think it's fantastic. We've also got a new take on Gob uh, Warren Instigator. It's, it's very similar similar to the original art. Actually, I thought it was the original art when I saw it and I said, well, that's a strange choice. However, it is different, but it's a, di you know, it's a different color palette and it's a little different style. It's a little more, you know, random and kind of scattered style. I like it, but it's not enough of a departure. This is probably my least favorite card in the set as a whole. And then we round out with Avenger of Zendikar, which I'm in love with. This is like this very impressionistic take on it, abstract take on Avenger of Zendikar, much less solid than the, you know, main art for this card as far as the being, the, the elemental itself in the picture. Avenger of Zendikar is a very playable EDH card, and I think it's an excellent inclusion in here. When you look at the set as a whole, they're all in those Zendikar showcase frames where the diamond of a hedron forms the, you know, frame 
within the frame against the picture itself. Uh, I thought that they were reserving this just for landfall cards, but they did bring this special Zendikar frame out for the showcase versions for these Zendikar Revisited Secret Layer versions. And I think it's an excellent take. I'm a real big fan of this set overall. Now let's talk about is it worth it? First place we have to start for is it worth it is the cost. Regular edition here is $30 and the showcase foil versions of these are $40. I think it's a good price point. As you can see, those are them, but in foil. So you've got a $30 pack, you've got a $40 foil pack. Let's look at some of the cards. So we'll start with Admonition Angel. This is a $9-ish card. I think in my notes I marked it down. Yeah, roughly $9 you can get it for. Um, but the foil has seen a huge price jump lately. I would attribute this to Zendikar hype. However, even if you look down into history, this is around a $20 foil. You know, you see anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks on any given day for the past two years. And only in the past, you know, three to four months has this seen this big spike up to a $43 price point. So we're going to take the $9 price for our for our uh, uh, non-foil price and we're going to we're going to round it to about 30. I would say between 20 and 30 that you could get a foil copy of Admonition Angel as a single Royal Elemental. Here's a $9 card. You know, we're already st seeing much higher value per card in this set than we've seen in the last few secret layers. They were sort of trending downward as far as cost goes and price value of the actual individual cards if you wanted to obtain them individually and this is a nice step back in the other direction where the the value seems much higher you see our market value i marked it down as nine bucks for royal elemental our foil we saw a huge jump in the foil price again i'm gonna say zendikar hype maybe and then it came back down and it started to recorrect up I would say about 20 bucks is a is good for the foil here. As you can see, you know, as middle of 2019, it was around $5. We saw a huge correction and now with, you know, more landfall support for Commander, I think that this may be a card that retains some value, you know, 10 bucks minimum, 15 bucks maybe. It looks like it's correcting up into the $20 range, but again, that might be some Zendikar hype. $9 for the non-foil, let's say between $15 and $20 for the actual foil, and we'll, we'll keep an eye on where Royal Elemental from Zendikar is going to go as far as foil. So here we've got an uncommon, obviously the market price, a dollar, 50 cents to a dollar is what you're going to get this card for, depending on where you're buying it and the quality of the card. But the foil, we've seen a big jump on this one. You know, this was a $3 foil in 2018, and around 2019, it's still in that 3 to $4 range, and then right, at the, right in the, you know, second quarter of 2020 it took a big jump now a big jump on this card is moving from three bucks to six bucks doesn't represent a lot of value however like i said it is the version that is different as far as the art goes this is the only version like this that really defers greatly and if you get the foil of it that's going to be very desirable in an edh deck at least in the right collector's edh deck let's look at warren instigator market of around eight bucks uh, 73. I marked this down as about seven. You have saw, I've seen some copies of it on eBay that are in really good condition that you can get for about seven. Our foil price is up around 20 though, and it looks fairly stable. I mean, this spike is from 2015 when the card was maybe, you know, going to be a huge player, but it ended up not taking off as big. We see our foil price kind of gradually drop over time, and then about where the spark time, it jumped up to about a $30 foil, and now we're settling in the $20, you know, $15 to $20 range. So that is, a, you know, a good card, but this is going to be, with Admonition Angel, one of the biggest players here, Avenger of Zendikar. Our market price, I marked it down as nine bucks. You can see average 12, market 12. So it's somewhere in there, nine to 12 bucks for a copy of the World Wake Elemental. Our foil price though, it's only gotten as low as 20 bucks. And that was in 2017. This card is played in EDH all the time. It's a, it's a very desirable card. We've got 40 bucks on this foil version. And you saw the foil price of for the showcase set itself is 40 bucks you've got one at around 40 bucks we're gonna we're gonna say 
you know, it corrects maybe to between 20 and 40, so we'll average it to 30. And then Avenger of Zendikar, I mean, this is a seemingly holding price here since the end of last year, you know. Uh, we haven't seen a real big reprint of it. These, you know, uh, secret layers don't really move the needle a lot as far as the price of an individual card to obtain it. And especially since these aren't even going to be shipped until 30 November, 15 January, you know, without any other errors happening, they won't even be in hands, you know, for a, quite a long time. And so at least with where the shipment of cards is considered. And so you've got a price on here that it seems to be a really good value for the showcase foil version specifically, and even a little overvalue for the non-foil version. I mean, at 30 bucks, you've got roughly $35 worth of cards in the non-foil version, and you've got much more than that. I mean, Admonition Angel or Avenger of Zendikar individually pay for the box itself, plus you get the art that I think is much, much more highly desirable than the actual printings of the card. This Admonition Angel is gorgeous. I love this piece compared to this piece. This Steve Argyle piece is incredible, don't get me wrong. Argyle's a master, but this, you know, more uh, off kilter, out of the norm take on it, that's what I want to see in these secret layers, especially Royal Elemental, I think is fantastic. Zulaport Cutthroat, Warren Instigator, I wish it wasn't so close to the original piece, but Avenger of Zendikar, this one, and Admonition Angel, they pay for the foil box just by themselves. I know that people are going to ask, so I wanted to look at the stained glass walkers, uh, the list, the major list of what we've got as far as the stained glass walkers go, and see which ones we think might be in this pack. Um, we know Nahiri is from Zendikar, that's kind of the home plane for her, so that's probably a good choice. We also know that uh, Nissa, who shakes the world, um, Nissa, this is, you know, she was the Zendikar protector, and so Nissa might be a good choice on that as well. I'm looking for one that maybe specifically has to do with lands, but I'm not really seeing anything. I really think that my my picks, my, my calls would be Nissa and Nahiri would be probably the ones that I would say would be in the Zendikar pack. That's my take on Secret Layer Showcase Zendikar Revisited. Let's close the book. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Like I said, if you wouldn't mind, go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out with just the click of a button. Let me know if you're going to get Zendikar revisited. I feel like this is a step in the right direction. After the last three secret layers have been uh, they've left a little something to be desired, even though I did purchase one. We had oozes, which I bought, and then we had the dogs one, which I did not purchase, and then we had the Yargo one, which I did not purchase. This is where I want the secret layers to be landing. I actually think this is a little bit of an overshoot on the value. The foil Admir uh, Admonition Angel and the foil Avenger of Zendikar both being the cost of the foil pack, I think is pretty incredible. I would expect hopefully only one of those foil cards per secret layer to at least give the value back and be like the quote unquote chase card. But having two of those in the foil pack that pay for the pack itself is pretty excellent. So I think this is a step in the right direction and I'm a big fan of it. That's what I've got for this one. Like I said, let me know if you're going to get this one. Let me know what you think about the last four secret layers. We've got some more to expect later this year. I'll catch you later.